What is going on guys, Juno Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are featuring Town Hall 9 3 star attacks by my clan Red Elite starting out with Warrior here the one and only Avenger massive shout out to Avenger in all that he does to help our clan and myself he is one of the moderators over on my discord link is on the screen there if you want to join if you want to join Red Elite Max Town Hall 9s we are recruiting the link for that is also on the screen as we move into this first one, we have another attack by him coming up, the Witch Slap Strategy. It's an absolute beast at Town Hall 9, certainly top of the meta. As he comes into this one, you basically want to create a, well, it's all about base identification, first of all. And then you want to create that channel, that path with the witches around the outside. Now, you will see in a second here, this is what people do to try and defend against witches giant bombs on the outside of the base doesn't quite take them out in this one coupled with other traps it might do plus if there was more defenses on the outside that is why people take healers on the outside for the witches now if you know that that giant bomb is there you can take in a giant or a hog rider but when you see mortars on the outside like this that is why they are there it's to stop the giants and the hog riders walking in and setting off that giant bomb so if you see mortars on the outside be suspicious of giant bombs on the outside you might have to test for that or consider taking healers in in order to protect your witches again we have another attack coming up for this and i will kind of break it down a little bit more but you might have noticed that air defense were at the top on the left hand side on the right hand side here so healers weren't going to get hit and we were good on either side then basically you're pushing your heroes your bowlers your main squad through the middle of the base and because you have witches on the outside they keep the fire focused for your troops in the middle directly through the base it works beautifully guys so again we have another attack coming up this one is hog riders now yes it's town hall 10 but it's basically a town hall 9.5 slash engineer well he's not really engineered too much but he has his heroes ranked up doesn't have the inferno towers you know one of our town hall lines takes him down coming in with the hog riders again we have another hog rider attack as well plus a lava loon five attacks for you today but coming in with that kill squad consisting of the bowlers and the heroes now at town hall nine the bowlers in the cc is by a long shot the best cc combination you can take it allows you to do things like this look get right into the base take a huge amount out and then in come the hog riders to circle around the base themselves so notice how he puts them in separately here to control the pathing making sure to take out the defenses on the right hand side before the hog riders merge in with the defenses on the left again a couple just to take that mortar the hog riders do end up kind of going out there anyway but as long as you're keeping them together you can use them heal spells effectively in order to take them down so as the hog riders come through here we have a few archer towers left but with all of them hog riders it is not going to make a distance look at that one baller and wizard just teaming up there smashing through buildings at the top again with the hog riders you do have to consider the cleanup squad as well Hog Riders, obviously you can get a lot of them left over, they're very quick, but do think about a few wizards. Once you've actually taken out the defences in an area, remember there's no defences there. So it would be crazy not to bring some troops in, in order to start cleaning up the buildings there. It's, you know, it's the one thing that you sometimes see at Town Hall 9, and above for that matter with Hog Riders, is running out of time. If done correctly, shouldn't be an issue. Coming in for a Lava Loon on this one, again... In my opinion, Lava Loon is the best strategy at Town Hall 9. There's a lot of variety. I've had videos recently talking about the variety, showing you the attacks, but Lava Loon for me just offers the best choice against a variety of base layouts. We digress, guys. Coming in for this one, a golem to distract. Coming in for the queen and the CC. That's a common kind of 
objective that you want to take out in in a number of strategies queen and cc so they're coming forward and the jump spell again the bowlers provide so much value think about what you can cut out of a base uh golem comes in in order to distract you don't have to worry about single target infernos or anything like you do at town hall 10 that is going to march forward protect your bowlers king and queen and look at the value they do indeed take out they're getting an air defense here getting expos out again the air defense aren't the biggest thing in the world against lava loon because you can actually use them to your advantage pin the lava loons onto them but it's more creating that path so look at this now that we come in we only basically have the defenses around the perimeter of the base that means we know where the balloons are going to go being defense targeting so they come forward coming in with this one across balloons from this entire southwest si southeast side sorry then they're going to circle up towards the north now it's important that you use your spells correctly there's a wizard tower on the back end here so you're going to need some sort of plan for that bringing in back end balloons bringing in a haste spell to push his main army towards it and down it goes now you can bring the balloons in surgically all you want guys but you have to understand that towards the end as there's only you know a few defenses left and as they circled up to the north they are going to clump up they're going to come together that is natural so if you plan out your attack any wizard towers splash damage that you're going to be hitting at the end you need to have a plan for whether it's a haste spell a heal spell a back end balloon whatever you want to do there needs to be a plan you can come in from that side and take them out but nine times out of ten you will indeed come across another one so here is avengers second attack again using that witch slap strategy becoming quite the master of it if we don't say so coming in let's take a look at this again you have a few witches three to four on each side with the healers now if you look at this air defense right the way i mean there's no way that they're going to touch these healers on the left side these guys are fine coming in across this side this air defense is a little bit more hairy but notice how the witches will create that funnel it's important to get this other set in as well they kind of work hand in hand your witches at the top create the funnel so that your main army down here go into the middle but then you need to get them in quick enough so that your witches on the outside continue on the outside and they don't come in over air defense is now not a problem so you have two sets of witches on either side with healers that isn't going to be an issue because there's no air defense that's the main thing in base identification the other thing is being able to jump through the base itself. So looking at this, two jump spells are needed and it's a perfect combination. I would most of the time recommend two jump spells and then either two rage or a rage and a heal. Probably the heal guides needs to use it down on the bottom here because of that CC which got in the way of his witches. Did draw his troops down there as well. But it's, it, it's good that they did because he has this Tesla farm down here potentially could have been an issue for the witches as the healers have gone down but again there's not a lot of defenses in the middle so it doesn't matter look at this pack of witches here absolutely fine because they have them healers and because of the nature of witches spawning skeletons there's no way that these point defense are going to take them out look at this which goes right the way down i mean an expo there is able to take them out but as long as you're spawning them skeletons most of the time the defenses are taking out the skeletons they can't keep up and this is what happens when you get to the end of a raid as the defenses start to fall the witches have more and more time because there's less defenses picking off skeletons they just spawn more and more and it just becomes an annihilation of the base in the end so great job to avenger again kind of highlighting our town hall nine attacks and if you want to join us maxed town hall nines are what we are recruiting at the minute make sure to apply in get in the discord sorry and then we'll allow you to imply in apply in game afterwards moving on to the final hog rider attack before we wrap up the video then again that golem comes in always a good idea to be honest because you don't have to worry about single target infernos the giants are susceptible to spring traps and you know the golem's just all around a great choice for that as they come in then you can see again the jump spell allows access for the queen and the cc and more importantly going to create a funnel here for the hog riders once that has been created 
you know where the hog riders are going to come in. You don't have to bring them in surgically unless the pathing of the hog riders is going to be off. So if the hog riders are going to go zigzagging across the base a little bit, then you need to think about bringing them in surgically. But in general, you can actually just bring them in. So as you can see here, it's a little bit confusing as to whether the hog riders would go for here, 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 go left to here or here. There's, there's kind of a, a little clump of defenses there. So bringing them in that little bit surgically means that you know these hog riders will go towards the middle and then they will indeed merge with the others. As long as you can plan for them to merge together, that's all you need because then you see the heal spell comes in right Right over the top, top of the whole group of hog riders. You don't want to use a heal spell on a small group. Depends on the situation. You might have to adapt and do that. But you don't really want to plan on using a heal spell on a whole group of hog riders. Um, on a small group. You want to use them on a whole group of hog riders. Get the maximum benefit out of them spells. That wraps it up for this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy the Town Hall 9 video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out.